the topic we are going to see about is moving boundary electroporosis before going on to the topic we need to know what is electroporosis electroporosis is nothing but a technique used in the laboratory for the separation of dna rna and protein molecule based on their size and the electrical charge applied this technique was introduced by Aaron Teslius during 1930s to separate different components from one another. An electrical current will be used to move the molecules through the gel or the other matrices for the separation of the particles. The particles they m usually move through the solvent by applying electric field is known as electroporosis. In this electro means current and porosis means separation. Most of the polymers they contain macromolecules so they are electrically charged and moves in the electric field. The electroporosis helps in determining the molecular weight of the molecule. The ions which is suspended between the two electrodes turns to travel towards the electrode that bears the opposite charge. Coming to the principle of electroporosis, it mainly works on three forces, electric force, frictional force and electroporotic retardation force. Electric force is nothing but the force applied by using an electric current. Frictional force is nothing but a force generated by the two surfaces that contacts and slides against each other. Next one will be the electroporotic retardation force. It is usually applied to the ions in a diffused layer. These ions are at some distance from a particle surface. They transfer part of this electrostatic force to the particle surface through viscous stress. This part of the force that is applied on the particle body is called as a electroporotic retardation force. The macromolecules can be characterized based on their rate of movement in the electric field. The large number of samples can be separated, quantified and identified with the help of the electroport. Coming to the ions that is which is present or suspended in the sample they their mobility depends upon the frictional coefficient which in turn depends upon the function of some of the physiological properties of the molecule such as weight molecular shape and size the law of electrostatic force states that f electric is equal to q e f is the electric it is electrical force on an ion, Q is the charge on the ion and E is the electric field strength. The principle of electroporosis is the separation of the molecules, ions or the colloidal particles that suspended in a matrix under a force of an electric field. This allows the migration of positively charged molecules towards the anode and migration of negatively charged molecules towards the cathode. The, there are certain factors that affects the electroporosis that is strength of the electric field that is voltage, charge of the sample used, size of the biomolecule, binding strength of the biomolecule, hydrophobicity of the sample, how far it can be dissolved in the solvent, shape of the biomolecule and ionic strength of the buffer. Basically the electroporosis can be divided into two types that is moving boundary electroporosis and zone electroporosis. Moving boundary electroporosis, it is carried out in a solution without any support medium and the sample is dissolved in a buffer and the molecules moves to the respective counter charge electrode when an electric current is applied. In this technique, a U-shaped tube with connected with a platinum electrode is attached at the ends of the both arms. The sample will be loaded in the middle of the U-tube and then uh, the buffers will be loaded upon the sample and then the apparatus is connected to the external power supply. At the end, the tube has refractometer to measure the change in the refractive index of the buffer with the sample during electroporosis. The charged molecules move towards the opposite electrode as they pass through the refractometer a change can be measured as a desirable molecule passes the samples can be taken out from the apparatus along with the buffer this is the pictorial representation of moving boundary electroporosis 
in the youtube in middle of the youtube we have a mixture of compound that is our test solution or a sample during electroporosis it gets separated based on the charge the negatively charged molecules moves towards the anode and the positively charged molecules moves towards the cathode during the electroporosis the main disadvantages of moving boundary electroporosis is resolution is very low since uh, since the sample is mixed with the buffer the complex biological samples cannot be separated and analyzed the purity of the components cannot be obtained with the help of this moving boundary electroporosis